So they following him from the from the girl crib to the gas station. And he hopped on. So he already seen it coming type. Eyewitnesses recount his pursuers also stopped. And that's where the gunman exited the vehicle and chased Mo3, who ran See, but was mowed down by bullets. That's the only reason why I say getting on that freeway and rest in peace to Mo3. Getting on that freeway was a mistake, man. In no time, authorities released images of the vehicle and shooter in the case. One striking him in the I'm head not doing and it. injuring one bystander in his vehicle. Damn, injured somebody bullet. else too? Dallas police officers would respond to the shooting where Mo3 was found fighting for his life. These exotic boys, smoke exotic out. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic locks. Tied to pull up real fast with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac, I got a lot of guap. Moolah gang, Moolah gang. Hey, I'm off that thoinky and that coffee combination. So you know I'm. Touch geeked up. Oh, for the girl, y'all wanna stop playing with y'all all, though, ski. This boy, Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac. I'm back with another video. Y'all know how we rock. Cop stock. Keep the cushion in my pocket. Listen, man, check it out. Y'all better get in that description right now. Well, I said better. Can you please? Can you please get in the description right now and subscribe to my other channels? <laughs> Let me be nice to you guys. I don't wanna, you know. Skate. No, for real though, go in that description and subscribe to the rest of my channels. My 2K channel busting right now. My membership channel busting right now. My main channel busting right now. I'm doing my biggest one on Funnel Gray, so make sure y'all slide down there in front of Gray. Make sure y'all do y'all Thug Deezy. How y'all gonna do y'all Thug Deezy? And we're gonna do the Thug Deezy the right Weezy. You hear me? Weezy, 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 Weezy. On my head, I heard. Yeah, I just hear this type of stuff every day, man. I hear I got money on my head. I heard. Mm. When you got people trying to target you, and when you a target and when you got a you got so many people that's that hate you and hate your success and, and hate where you done came from and yeah man like death gonna pop up in your head because you know that's how that's basically how it always ends. A Dallas rapper is dead today after he was I shot on I-35. 28 year old Melvin Noble, also man, known as MO3, was shot on I-35 northbound near the Beckley Zane curve. It is a stark example of the city's struggle to control violent crime. Police say a, a hip hop musician named Mo3 was approached by the killer on I-35. On the Both freeway, men stopped their crazy. vehicles, got out, oh, took off, started running, lie. but was shot several times on the highway. I ain't gonna lie, this be, be getting killed on the freeway in Chicago, boy, but really, that's like some newer shit, like, that shit start happening, so it's crazy to me, like, you know, like, it's crazy, how the hell do you even, they had the men following you before you got on the freeway, though, that's the only way it makes sense. November 10th, 2020, the night before his demise. Melvin Noble, known as the Dallas Rising rap star, son Mo just Three, like it. Oh my God. was at a female companion's apartment. The two were dating at the time, but Mo3 wasn't the only one with feelings for the female. Mm. At that moment, another person, Devin Maurice Brown, was lurking in the shadows following their every move. Brown, who had a history with the female, caught wind of her relations with Mo3 via well, a know, Facebook post one. with the two together. Enraged, he put a plan in action to end the life of the rapper. Mo3, unaware that night would be his last, went to sleep and awoke the next day to continue building his career that was on a steady incline to mainstream success. That's crazy. That morning, Imagine you just, that's how life be. That's why y'all gotta really tap in with life, bro. You'll wake up today, bro, and tomorrow, and tomorrow morning is not promised. You think any of these people that we be doing these videos about, any of these stories, any of these situations, you think they knew like today, yeah, it's gonna be over with tonight. It's gonna be over with in the morning. Later today it's gonna I ain't gonna see I ain't gonna see tonight like I seen I ain't gonna even see the darkness again cause it's over with tonight, like you know what I'm saying? Nobody says that. Nobody wakes up like it's always a regular regular day. And something pop off. So what that tell you? Be on point at all times, number one. And number two, bro, don't take none for granted. 11, 2020, about life. Don't take Devin granted. Brown was in communication with an affiliate by the name of Kiwan Dontrell White. On that morning, popular entertainment outlet TMZ reported that Mo3 caught on to his pursuers. 
noticing he was being watched. Hold on, y'all, before we get back into the video, because we finna get right back into it. I gotta tell y'all about the Moolah membership. The Moolah membership is a website that I started a few years ago. Since I started this website, I have been able to put on so many of y'all, and I want you to be the next person to get put on. I'm gonna give you instructional videos, step-by-step -step instructions. I'm literally giving you lessons out weekly, daily, for you to understand these different categories. We talk about business, financial literacy, credit, crypto, we talking about stocks, we talking about Amazon, we talking about dropshipping, we talking about YouTube. I'm literally giving you the gems to be a boss, the gems to be a successful entrepreneur in 2023. So this is all you have to do. Click the link in the description, sign up right now for the low, low price of $50 a month, bro. $50 a month, you're gonna get access to a one-on-one -on -one help with me. You're gonna get access to my group chats where my experts worldwide work around the clock, 24-7, to make sure you have the best stock and crypto call outs. That means all you gotta do is buy the same stocks and cryptos that I'm buying and make some of the all this bread. Very simple, very easy on Broke Game. Stop waiting, stop procrastinating, click the first link in the description right now, especially if you wanna be a boss. And if you dead serious, man, if you wanna put that work in and get that money on, I'm talking about that easy money on, click that link in the description, shorty, right now, because we only got 2,000 spots and I would hate to see you be missed out. Skate. Their report state. He was followed from the female companion's apartment to a gas station where Mo3 then tried to evade his pursuer by jumping on the I-35. Oh, he tried to. So he, so Mo3 already seen him. He tried to get off, get away from him to get on the car. I mean, to get on the freeway. Then tried to his pursuer by jumping on the I-35. Left a female's companion house Wednesday morning and noticed he was being watched. It's unclear who the person tailing him was, but we're told they followed him in a vehicle from the home to a gas station. Hmm. So they followed him from the from the girl crib to the gas station, and he hopped on. So he already seen it coming. Type. Mo three then tried to evade his pursuer by jumping on the I thirty five. Broad daylight, nearing noon, Mo three was on Interstate thirty five East near the Dallas Zoo. Affidavit records detail witnesses' account of the tragic moment that occurred next. With his getaway foiled by traffic, Melvin Noble, A.K.A. Mo three stopped near Clarendon Drive in an attempt to evade those plotting on his end. At 11.56 a.m., eyewitnesses recount his pursuers also stopped, and that's where the gunman exited the vehicle and chased Mo3, who ran See, but was mowed down by bullets. That's the only reason why I say getting on that freeway, and rest in peace to Mo3, getting on that freeway was a mistake, man, because it could be traffic. Like don't 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 ever get on the freeway if you see already see somebody on y'all. Like if somebody already on your tail, shorty, and you see somebody following you, don't get on the freeway. You get what I'm saying? Get up out of that any other kind of way. Bend blocks, bend corners. Get away from them. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're in a fast car. Put that in race mode, sports plus, whatever it is, the fastest mode on bro, and get the hell out of there. You get what I'm saying? Shit, I'm not. I'll drive to the police station. <laughs> I was I stayed my ass at the police. Y'all got me fed up, nigga. Who? Especially I ain't got no glick on me. I I don't think he had no glick on him because I'm sure he would have bust back or something. And that's why y'all need to start all these hoes, bro. That shit, a girl gotta go 30 days untouched before she touch me, bro. You get what I'm saying? If you f the nigga, if I know or you openly tell me like you just broke up with it. I don't want to talk to you then. We'll, I'll talk to you again in 30 days. 60 days. If I talk to you at all, it ain't worth it. If you got any, any nigga that think, if you got any nigga that could openly come out and be like, that nigga took my bitch. And like, you know, not like delusional in the DMs. I'm talking about like, y'all was linking, woody whoop, then I came out of nowhere and scooped your bitch up. No, you're going to have to wait 30, 60 days before I come in there. Because I'm not going to be getting into it with no nigga over no. No, I'm not doing it, bro. One striking him in the I'm head not doing and it. injuring one bystander in his vehicle. Damn, injured somebody else too? Dallas police officers would respond to the shooting where Mo3 was found fighting for his life. Yeah, but he was on a freeway. Melvin Noble, tried to freeway. a.k.a. Mo3, That's a bad was place rushed to, be, man. to the Methodist hospital where he was pronounced deceased. But the clock was now ticking to find those responsible. Mm. That led officers to a smoking gun that would blow the case wide open. Mm. Dash cam footage of the shooting from a witness in a nearby vehicle. The video detailed the final moments of Mo3's life. The pursuer pulled up in front of his vehicle 
a short distance away. Mode 3 stopped and exited his vehicle, going around and opening the other side of the car. It's believed he was trying to gain access to a firearm, but the gun... Wait, what happened? Mode 3 stopped and the pulled up in front of the detailed the final moments of Mode 3's life. The pursuer pulled up in front of his vehicle, mm. a short distance away. Mode 3 stopped and exited his vehicle, going around and opening the other side of the car. He it's believed he was trying to gain access to a firearm, mm. but the gunman began his assault, he shooting prompting already. Mode 3 to abandon his mission and yeah. instead flee for his life. The video shows the shooter giving chase outside of the camera, where Mode 3 fell from injuries of multiple bullet wounds before the shooter enters back into the frame to head to the getaway vehicle. Mm. News reports spread like wildfire and the hunt was on. 28-year-old Melvin Noble, also known as MO3, was shot on I-35 northbound near the Beckley Zane Curve. In no time, authorities released images of the vehicle and shooter in the case. Police state hey, no that the suspect was driving a possible 2014 or 2015 black Chevy Camaro. Records state that a witness, the female companion in question, blew the whistle on Devin Brown's involvement, informing law officials yeah, that was she him. was aware of him knowing of the relationship with Mo mm. Cree and was upset. Right. She went further into detail, informing officials that Brown was in contact with the witness the day prior and moments before they took Mo 3's life, the witness was the one who gave away Mo 3's location mm. and allowed his pursuer to track and pin him down. The female companion was aware of all the information, which begs the question, was she in on it all? Right. And failed to provide Mo 3 with the information of his danger? Right. On November 13th. How you know that? How do you know that? How do you know this information? After he died? You know this now? No. You had to know this before. So did you just not say nothing because you ain't think nothing of it? And even if you did, that's still insubordination. See, a lot of these, these girls, bro, these girls, they don't understand. That's why you have to communicate with your girl or who you f***ing with and really get her to understand. Because a girl is not going to dive into no nigga's shoes. They don't have to. We got to walk up to them. So we got to learn. The hunters have to learn their prey. The prey don't have. You get what I'm saying? So we got to know them so we can get them, attract them. We got to know what they like, where they want to go, what they like to see, how they dress, smell good. They, we got to know all that. We got to know how to talk to them, walk with them, with them, know what to say, how to say it. We got to know all that. They don't got to know nothing. They just got to know be pretty. You feel me? So you have, to, you have to explain to your girl, like, babe, I need you to tell me every little small thing that's going on. Whether you going somewhere, who you finna be with, it's not because I'm controlling or crazy. I just got to know. Because if I got to pull up and smash a nigga ass, or I got to pull up and do, I need to already be on point. It ain't because I'm crazy boyfriend. I don't get no who you with. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I do, but you get what I'm saying. Like, I just need to know. I need to know who you talking to. I need to know what your ex said. I need to know that your ex DM'd you and said that I'm going to find that nigga. Whether you think it's a cap or not. Whether you think he just talking or not. You, you got to tell him. You got to communicate that to me. Like, on bro. The detective on the case, Detective Eric Barnes, was provided evidence of call logs that corroborated the witness's story, mm. tracing the phone to Devin Brown himself. Mm. On November 19, 2020, he was arrested on a federal warrant for his involvement in the murder of Mo Federal. Three, and confirmed he was in fact aware and upset over the relationship between right. Mo Three and the female companion. He confirmed that he stupid. Comments online were also drawing connections. That not the girl who house he was at. It was another he missing with his op baby mama, and I think she set him up. But the girl y'all showing is somebody else. Between the female companion mm. and Devin Brown, with one user implying the female was the mother of his child. The Dallas police strategy mm. to release the video and images of the shooter provided fruitful because on November 20th, 2020, tips were coming in, detailing the person in the image with the gun to be Brown's accomplice, Kiwan White. Mm. By November 25th, they got a credible witness with inside knowledge of Devin Brown, who detailed in-depth information of him and White, even to hearing White admit to shooting Noble AKA Mo3, Mo3, while talking to her boyfriend. The witness further informed officials her boyfriend recognized White 
from the images and share his social media account with officials. Investigators uncovered that at the yeah, moment the of the crime, crime White was already out on bond from a previous arrest, and on a search warrant they obtained his cell phone records. He was a known criminal to the law, with yeah. numerous stints in and out of prison over the years. Mm. Within his phone records, there was damning evidence to his involvement in the hit of Mo3. Mm. The affidavit names the witness and female companion at the center of the assassination as Miss Jackson and White's records not only showed he was in the vicinity of her apartment the night prior, but he was also where Mo3 was chased and shot. Right. And messages and calls were exposed between him and Brown during the entire ordeal. Right. On oh, December so 9, 2020, on an arrest warrant granted December 8th, task force officers apprehend and arrest White, where he hinted towards the phone records being his, but played coy to remembering his number or knowing the other suspect, Devin Brown. Mm. Both men who are described as affiliates by the Office of the U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Texas were indicted in December on multiple charges, including one count each of felon in possession of a firearm. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Brown was also indicted on one count of conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute a controlled substance. Also, according to a criminal complaint, mm. reports state that upon conducting a search of Brown's home, law enforcement found a stolen AK-47 in his closet, as well as several illegal substances, scales, baggies, and more than $3,200. A second criminal complaint alleges law enforcement found a 9mm pistol in White's pocket. White previously fled on a dirt bike and then on foot when officers tried to stop him. If found guilty of the federal charges, White faces Life. up to 10 years in federal prison and Brown oh, no. faces up to 20 years on both the illegal substances and gun charges. Mm. Both Brown and White have also been indicted on, on federal murder. charges, but their problems go even deeper with the indictment on murder charges, as well for the plan and actions that took the life of Mo3. 28-year-old right. Devin Brown was indicted on a murder charge this week. Another man, 22-year-old Kwan Wright, was also indicted on the same charge earlier this year. March 2022, updates on the case were revealed, reporting one of the suspected murderers, Kiwan Dontrell White, plead guilty to a felony charge of unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. Mm. This stemmed from the August 16th, 2020 evasion of Lancaster police on a mm. dirt bike when pulled over for this traffic before, violations right. and a nine millimeter pistol was found in his pocket. Right. If found guilty of the charge, the consequences could be life with the possibility of parole. Mo3 always thought about his death given the number of persons wishing bad upon his life. Yeah. When you got people trying to target you, and when you a target, and when you got a, you got so many people that's that hate you and hate your success and, and hate where you done came from, and yeah, man, it's like death gonna pop up in your head because you know that's how it's basically how it always ends. One such rival who showed no remorse and celebrated yeah, Mo Three's end was Trap Boy Freddie, who sadly You're from there. was a past friend turned enemy. Payback. Everybody was laughing with him then. I ain't laughing no more. Mo3 was maturing and trying to be on That's a better crazy. path and focused on his music. But sadly, his life was taken before he could enjoy the changes he made in himself. Yeah. How have you grown? Musically, emotionally, spiritually? How have you grown? I'm grown now. Way grown now from, you know, bird coming in the game, reckless. No brain, no mind, head for You seen me at that DJ Vertical a long time ago when I came up there. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you know. I wouldn't do nothing like that no more, man. Real talk. I don't even put myself in that position. Situation, because I know what I'm going to do. So, the void out there, we ain't even going to, you know. And it's crazy. It's, 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 it's up that you know. You couldn't even enjoy that, but. That's why I tell niggas, get the hell out your city, bro. I don't care nothing about what no nigga talking about. You scary, all that. You you fake. You, uh, you goddamn it. You don't care about the guys no more. All that shit, man. All that shit. You feel me? Man, listen, man. Get you some money and get the hell on. You don't even need that much. Get you, start making you three, four thousand a month. Get the hell on.
Bye. See you later. I'll go live in butt Kansas. I don't care. I'm not going to live here. You feel me? Rest in peace, Mo3, man.